These low vitamin D3 levels related to weight gain, dementia, or poor sleep. Hi, my name is Dr. Sabali Pal. I'm a professor in bariatric medicine. Today, I will discuss how adequate vitamin D levels are crucial for immune function, weight loss, bone health, cancer prevention, sleep, metabolic well-being, and much more. Have a look at last week's video, part one, where I look at the recommended intake levels and the importance of combining vitamin D, magnesium, and the transform of vitamin K2, and the best times and methods for supplementing. So let's get into it. Vitamin D and disease. Vitamin D, through its active form and interaction through the vitamin D receptor, VDR, controls the expression of about 3% of the human genome. This includes thousands of genes involved in various biological processes such as cell proliferation, immune function, and metabolism. This also highlights the importance of maintaining optimal vitamin D levels to prevent various chronic diseases, including cancer, obesity, diabetes, autoimmune disorders, and infections like COVID-19, which I will now discuss. When you learn in this video all the things in your body that vitamin D impacts, I'm positive that you will ensure that your vitamin D3 levels are appropriate to meet your body's requirements. Now, number one, muscle strength. Studies have shown that vitamin D supplementation can improve muscle strength. Athletes and children who receive supplemental vitamin D tend to have more muscle strength, especially in the lower half of the body. The exact reason why it affects the lower half of the body more than the upper half remains unclear at this moment. Now, the relationship between vitamin D and weight loss, some evidence suggests that getting enough vitamin D could enhance weight loss, decrease body fat, and increased muscle mass. In one research study, women were given about 1,000 international units of vitamin D or a placebo each for 12 weeks. Women in the D3 group experienced a significant reduction in body fat mass of 2.7 kilos compared to the placebo without notable changes in body weight or waist circumference. The women in the vitamin D group also gained about 3.1 pounds of muscle or 1.4 kilos of muscle compared to those in the placebo group. Another study followed 218 overweight and obese women and they were put on a calorie restricted diet and exercise routine for one year. Half the women received about vitamin D supplement while the other half received a placebo. At the end of the study, researchers found that women who took vitamin D lost more weight, an average of 7 pounds or 3.2 kilos, more than the women who did not have adequate blood levels. Now, vitamin D has been associated with a decrease in weight gain. A four and a half year study in over 4,600 elderly women found that higher vitamin D levels were linked to less weight gain. This suggests that increasing your vitamin D intake could promote weight loss, although more research is actually needed to form more stronger conclusions. How does vitamin D aid in weight loss? Studies show that vitamin D could potentially reduce the formation of new fat cells in the body. It could also suppress the storage of fat cells, effectively reducing fat accumulation. Additionally, vitamin D can increase the levels of serotonin, a neurotransmitter that affects everything from mood to sleep regulation. Serotonin may play a role in controlling your appetite and can increase satiety, reduce body weight, and decrease caloric intake. Now, vitamin D is crucial in regulating your sleep patterns. It produces melatonin, the hormone that helps regulate our circadian rhythm and promotes restful sleep. Now, research consistently shows that low vitamin D levels are associated with sleep disturbances. Poor sleep quality and shorter sleep duration are more common in individuals with insufficient vitamin D levels. It's suggested that vitamin D3 be taken in the morning as some anecdotal reports suggest that supplementing with vitamin D at night might interfere with your sleep. However, scientific data to prove this is currently unavailable. Now, testosterone and semen quality. Vitamin D has a surprising effect on male reproductive health. It helps increase testosterone levels, improve semen quality, and sperm motility. A 2011 study gave 165 men either vitamin D supplements or placebo for one year. It found that those receiving the supplements experienced greater increase in testosterone levels than the control group. Vitamin D and mental health. Vitamin D deficiency is a common in people with mental health and neurological disorders, including OCD, schizophrenia, autism, depression, and anxiety. Now, vitamin D deficiency is associated with anxiety and depression, and some studies suggest a connection between vitamin D and autism. Low vitamin D levels have been observed in individuals with schizophrenia. 
It has been suggested that vitamin D deficiency affects brain scaffolding and could potentially contribute to conditions like schizophrenia. ADHD supplementation with vitamin D levels may improve symptoms. A randomized control trial found that vitamin D of 50,000 international units per week and magnesium supplementation for eight weeks improved behavioral function and mental health in children with attention deficit disorder or hyperactivity disorder. Studies indicate that co-administrating vitamin D with omega-3 fatty acids may also be more effective for ADHD. Now, hearing loss and vitamin D. Research studies suggest that vitamin D deficiency has been linked to a higher risk of hearing loss. Additionally, low calcium levels are also associated with hearing impairment. It is thought that vitamin D helps regulate the levels of calcium and phosphate in the body, which are vital for maintaining healthy bones. This includes the tiny bones in the ear that are essential for conducting sound. Without adequate vitamin D, these bones can become weak and potentially leading to conditions like osteopenia or osteoporosis and indirectly impacting their ability to transmit sound effectively. One study showed that the odds of bilateral hearing loss were increased by 45% in older adults with vitamin D deficiency compared to their peers with normal vitamin D levels. Another study suggested that vitamin D deficiency might exacerbate the rate of hearing decline in older adults. Now, correlation with cancer. Studies suggest that vitamin D is associated with reduced risk of certain cancers such as colorectal cancer and bladder cancer. However, no consistent evidence shows that vitamin D levels affect the risk of other cancers such as breast or lung. However, low blood levels of vitamin D are associated with higher overall cancer mortality, indicating that while vitamin D may not cure cancer, it could potentially reduce the risk and mortality associated with this disease. Currently, there isn't enough convincing evidence to link low vitamin D levels to cancer, nor is there evidence to support taking vitamin D supplements are going to reduce your cancer risk. Cardiovascular benefits of vitamin D. Now, number one, it reduces the risk of hypertension. Vitamin D may help regulate blood pressure and low levels have been associated with an increased risk of hypertension. A study published in BMJ investigated whether supplementing older adults with monthly doses of vitamin D could alter the incidence of major cardiovascular events, including hypertension. Adequate vitamin D levels can also prevent stiffening of the arteries, which is a risk factor for heart disease. Experimental studies have been shown that vitamin D metabolites have an action on cardiomyocytes, endothelial, and vascular smooth muscle cells, which could influence arterial stiffness. Some research suggests that individuals with sufficient vitamin D levels have a lower risk of heart attack. However, a meta-analysis referred to in BMJ journal reported no effect of vitamin D supplements on cardiovascular events. Now, vitamin D can influence cholesterol levels by affecting its absorption and metabolism of the cholesterol, but exact mechanism and the effects are still being researched. It's important to note that while there's a correlation between vitamin D levels and cardiovascular health, the evidence is mixed and more research is really needed to fully understand the extent of these benefits. Brain health and vitamin D. Now, recent studies have highlighted a potential link between vitamin D supplementation and a reduced incidence of dementia. Researchers found that individuals taking vitamin D supplements had a 40% lower incidence of dementia compared to those who didn't. This association was particularly strong among women who were 49% less likely to develop dementia if they were exposed to vitamin D. Now, vitamin D seems to have an anti-inflammatory property and may protect against cognitive decline and dementia. Vitamin D is also believed to play a role in the clearance of amyloid beta aggregates in the brain, which is a characteristic feature of Alzheimer's disease. However, it's important to note that while these findings are promising, they're not conclusive. Now, immune system. Vitamin D has both anti-inflammatory and immunoregulatory properties. Vitamin D is critical in immune system activation, reducing the risk of common colds and infection duration. It also enhances the function of immune cells, including T cells and macrophages, which actually protect the body against pathogens. Now, low vitamin D levels are correlated with a lower immune system and increased susceptibility to infections. However, correlation doesn't necessarily imply 
causation. So we observe low vitamin D levels more frequently in people with certain conditions, but it doesn't necessarily mean that vitamin D is directly causing those conditions. People with autoimmune disorders such as rheumatoid arthritis and autoimmune thyroiditis often have low circulating vitamin D levels. Low vitamin D has been linked to flare-ups of autoimmune conditions. Even in individuals without autoimmune disorders, vitamin D exhibits some anti-inflammatory effects. Now, people with multiple sclerosis tend to have much lower vitamin D levels than those without the condition. Researchers are still investigating the exact relationship between vitamin D and immune health, bone health, and osteoporosis prevention. Vitamin D helps to regulate calcium and phosphate levels in the body, which are essential for bone health. Vitamin D is essential for bone health because it increases calcium absorption. Vitamin D deficiency can lead to bone deformities such as rickets in children and osteomalacia, which is bone pain in adults. So to prevent osteoporosis, maintaining adequate vitamin D levels is really important. A study published in the Journal of Bone and Mineral Research examined the effects of high doses of vitamin D supplementation on bone fragility. Adequate intake of vitamin K is also associated with a lower risk of fractures and higher bone mineral density, improving skeletal health in adults. The study concluded that vitamin K supplementation decreases general fracture risk and could be an option to counter bone loss. In addition, research published in Nutrients suggested that B vitamins, particularly B2, B6, folate, and B12, also play a protective role in bone health. Now, the review provides evidence potential mechanisms by which individual B vitamins influence bone structure, quality, mass, and fracture risk. These studies highlight the importance of maintaining adequate levels of not only vitamin B, but K and D for bone health. However, obtaining sufficient amounts of vitamin D solely from sunlight can be very challenging, especially if you lack regular sun exposure. As I explained in last week's video, there are so many factors that come into play with having the right amount of vitamin D in your system to meet your body's needs, like your place of habitation, age, weight, medical conditions, diet, your skin color, medications, and therefore supplements can be an effective way to boost your blood levels of vitamin D, which is crucial to your health. Also, you need to consider taking vitamin D3 along with trans vitamin K2 and magnesium as these three nutrients work together to play essential roles in various physiological functions. And so combining them can enhance their effectiveness and health benefits. When buying K2 supplements, make sure it specifies the trans form of MK7. Therefore, if you are considering vitamin D supplementation, it's best to consult a healthcare professional for personalized advice so they can give you the appropriate amount according to your health status. I hope this video has been helpful. Have a look at last week's video, but to really get the results you want, make sure you come back to next week's video on diet and inflammation. If you've enjoyed the contents of this video, please like and subscribe and share it with anybody who might benefit from it. This is Dr. Sabali Pal. See you next week.